12,000 votes to uh, Colleen Deacon's uh, 67,000. And we are now in the process of connecting Pam Helming, who appears to have wrapped up the 54th Senate District. She is on the phone. Pam, do we have you? Yes. How are you this evening? Good. How are you, Pam? Good. Thank you, Jess. How are you feeling now that uh, you're a couple hours after the results have started coming in? How do you feel right now? I feel cautiously optimistic. Uh, feel humbled by the support that the people have shown across the 54th Senate District and uh, very proud. Now, uh, as far as your expectations go for what this day was like, as far as keeping the hectic schedule and uh, trying to be in all the places you were supposed to be in, how did it feel uh, making it through the day? It felt absolutely incredible making it through the day. I had an opportunity to hit all of the six um, counties over the last two days, um, from Webster out to Wayne County, through Ontario, Seneca, Cayuga, and down to Lansing and Tompkins County. It's just been great getting out, meeting the people, talking to them, hearing what their priorities are for the Senate District. It, it's just been a wonderful, incredible opportunity. Now, what uh, what does your uh, upcoming schedule look like as far as uh, assuming things progress for you here and you are successful in uh, becoming the Senator-elect? Uh, what will your days and weeks look like leading into uh, your preparation? Um, I think basically it would be twofold. One, uh, putting together a transition plan for the town of Canandaigua, where I'm the supervisor, and second, a uh, transition plan to move into the role as senator. Now, as far as uh, your uh, responsibilities in Canandaigua, uh, what is the item, What is the thing that you are going to miss most about serving Canandaigua, who, which you've been ingrained uh, in the Canandaigua world now for uh, many years. Um, I'm going to miss everything about being town supervisor, uh, being in the offices every day with the incredible team that we have in place, uh, being there every day to answer the concerns of the residents face to face. But I feel like in this new position, I'll be able to better serve the residents of not only Canada, but uh, the entire Senate district. And I'll still reside in the town of Canandaigua, so I'll still get my fix. Hey, Pam, Jim Sinekropi here. Thank you so much for joining us in studio. Um, I'd like to share with you the, another update we just received in your race. Uh, we show you now with a vote total of 49,248 to uh, Keenan Baldridge's 28,366 uh, and Floyd Rayburn, 5,423. That's 165 of 229 districts reporting. Uh, I'd feel comfortable in declaring you the winner. We, will, we won't just yet, though, but um, that's a pretty sizable lead, and um, it certainly has to feel great for all the hard work and campaigning over the past several months to have such a sizable lead uh, as we get close to uh, midnight here on election night. Right. Again, I'm just so thankful to all of the people who took the time out to go vote and all of the people who during the last eight months took the time to answer their doors, to read the literature that's been put out there, and even to, to call me with their questions. I, I just feel incredibly proud and I so look forward to doing my absolute best to represent the people of the district. And as I, before we get you out of here, I, I would like to know, uh, what is the, what item are you most excited about uh, moving forward, uh, assuming you are elected and the numbers hold up? What is, what is the thing that you're most excited about uh, as serving uh, as senator? Um, Josh, I have to be honest at this point. I, I can't pinpoint just one item. I think it's more of general, being able to be a voice for the people of upstate New York, mm -hmm. and in particular for the people of the Wayne Finger Lakes region. I'm just so excited to be able to go to Albany and represent our views and our priorities. So, Pam, you're at the Inn at Canandaigua. Is it a, uh, is it a celebratory uh, atmosphere there right now? 
And who who are you with? I'm with primarily um, Republicans from the Ontario County Republican Committee, although I've had, there are also people from Wayne County, Seneca County, Cayuga County, and other areas here as well. And uh, before coming to the Inn on the Lake, I got here about 9.30, I had the opportunity to also stop in and spend some time with the Seneca County Republican Committee at the Gould Hotel. That was a very celebratory um, atmosphere as well. And the same in Cayuga County. I had the opportunity to stop in at the Knights of Columbus and uh, celebrate with some of the people there. Well, um, there certainly is a, a lot of cause for celebration right now in your camp. Again, the latest report showing you with a 19, uh, 21, about a 21,000 vote lead over your nearest competitor, Keenan Baldridge, a town of row supervisor on the Democratic line. Um, it won't be too much longer, I think, before we can officially declare you the winner of the okay. New York State uh, 54th District. And, um, you know, so a little premature still, but I want to congratulate you and uh, certainly thank you for taking time out of uh, what's been a busy day to, to talk with us tonight. Jim, I appreciate the opportunity, and Josh, thank you so much. I look forward to working with you in the coming days. Absolutely. Thanks a lot for taking the Thank time. You. Okay.